one of the important issues we talk with farmers about when we deliver our farm safety visits and we're standing or sitting at the dining table is their responsibilities to subcontractors and where the legal responsibilities rest. Under RHS laws, employers have the same duty care to subcontractors and their employees in relation to matters over which they have control. If an employer is engaging a specialist contractor to bring and perform work that is not necessarily core or intrinsic to what they do on the farm, for example, a plumber or electrician, uh, then clearly they're engaging for uh, specialist services and skills that are not necessarily part of farming work. And if an incident were to occur, they should be able to rely upon the expertise and skills of that contractor to say, well, that's what they do, not part of what we do. Having said that, however, if, for example, a farmer saw a plumber up on a roof doing guttering type work, and they could physically see that, and they didn't have any physical fall protection or handrails or anything in place, the farmer would be at risk and should make sure they deal with those situations and make sure that they do um, pull those contractors into line. But with a lot of uh, contractors engaged by farmers, they are specialist farming contractors. And they're often on farm for prolonged periods of time, using the farm facilities, the same sheds, same buildings, working in the same paddocks, working alongside the farmer's employees. In those circumstances, we do recommend that farmers should induct those contractors. They should meet them uh, before they start work, have subcontractor engagements or uh, documents in place where they uh, get evidence of their systems of work, their insurance details, make sure that the uh, contractors uh, know about emergency procedures, first aid facilities, the same things that you would cover off with employees. We're not talking about a full blown employee style induction that might take half a day or so, but 15, 20 minutes with the contractors when they arrive on farm to make sure they know what your expectations are. Uh, make sure they know about the hazards on the farm. For example, if they're working on a, on a paddock where there's a steep slope and they're going to be operating machinery, or if there are power lines coming into play, that they are made aware of those hazards and risks before they undertake their work. One of the additional issues we also talk about is the importance of insurance details and making sure that you get from the subcontractors their public liability insurance details in particular, their certificate of currency for their public liability insurance. With public liability insurance, as the name infers, the public, that if a member of the public is hurt on your farm, uh, you'd rather that obviously that person would go and claim against the contractor's insurance rather than your own. But more important than a member of the public is your employees. That if they are hurt by the activities of the contractor, your employees would potentially have to hit you with a work cover claim. WorkSafe, as the workers' compensation regulator, and workers' compensation provider in the state do recover the costs of those types of claims through third party recoveries, whereas basically the insurance merry go round where they would go and pursue that through legal action. But potentially in between time, it would affect your workers' compensation premiums and cost your business. And so just draw a line in the sand with all of your contractors to make sure you always get their public liability insurance details. And if they bring apprentices of their own employees, also ask for their work cover certificate currency as well. We do provide in our resources a contractor uh, template, contractor management template that farmers can give to their contractors to get evidence from them of their safe systems of work and insurance details. We recognise with your one man band, plumber or electrician, they're probably not going to have a lot of those resources and may not have RHS systems or policy procedures, but with larger contractors, uh, many of them will have those things in place and will give them to you. And for many farmers, the reason why they've not given you their insurance details or contractor documents in the past is probably because you've never asked. But, uh, but as far as business goes, for a lot of business, this is routine and normal.